Now, if you go back to the original rule that we had, we said that this was true, but only if a was not zero. We said that zero to the zero is undefined. It doesn't exist. Now, from the proof, we can see why. Because if we allow a to actually be zero, so it's zero to the zero power, then that would mean you would have zero to the m, zero to the m, right? But on the bottom, cover up the top, zero uh, raised to any power. Zero is any, any power is going to give you zero. Zero squared is zero because, you know, zero times zero, right? It gives you zero. Zero raised to any power gives you zero, right? So if I have a zero in the denominator of this fraction, I can't divide by zero. I mean, in calculus, we say it approaches infinity or something, but in, in real life, you can't actually divide something by nothing. You get an undefined, un nonsensical answer. So because we can't do that, we exclude the, the possibility when a is actually zero. And so we say zero is to the zero is not defined. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.